So there are so many things I learned from that uh, relationship. I learned that you need Christ in the center of your relationship from the start. You know, don't wait until a month after or or a week after or even a day after. From the moment you start talking to the other person, you ask them, how, how much do you love the Lord? And you, you ask them stuff like that. Because if you wait and you push those aside, because I understand that when you first talk to someone, you want to try to impress them. You want to, you know, just be like, well, you're cute or you're, you know, you're handsome. And, and that's, look, that's fine and everything. But when, it, when, you, when you talk to that person and the more you talk to that person, then ask them or express it yourself that this is how much I love the Lord. And if they express it the same way, they say, yeah, me too. Okay, then you have something to base it off. Because, let's face it, if you, let's say if you're the only one that loves the Lord, you can't really talk, relate to the other person, you know. When you get, go to a youth camp or when you go to a, a service and you, you and the Spirit, you know, moves you and everything, you can't relate to that person. You can't say, oh, I felt the Lord, I felt the presence of God. They'll just be like, um. So again... If, you're, if you want a, a successful relationship, put God as a cornerstone of your relationship. Because when you do that, then God can govern everything. And I know that it seems like, oh, he's going to dictate everything. No. What I mean by govern everything is that he'll be able to protect you. He'll be able to guide you both into the right direction. Because if you, if you yourself or your partner aren't in tune with the Lord, if you don't have God in the center of your hearts... And in the relationships, you won't be able to to understand or you won't be able to uh, go in the right direction. You know, it's like this. You know, I, I, if you've heard of this example, great. You know, if not, here's an example. You have God, it's a triangle. You know, you have God at the top and you have man and the woman. you got two, both sides. You know, if you just got... One person serving this person, you know, that, and then this way, you know, then that person is not going to be in tune. It's not complete. But when you have both serving the Lord and serving each other, it, it fits in. It, it works out. So have God in the center of it. You know, the second thing that I learned is that you can't change people. As much as you love them, that was one thing that was hard for me is that I loved her so much that I... I went beyond my willpower to, to change her. And when I did that, I realized I was doing God's work. I was stepping in front of God and saying, you're not doing it right. Let me do it my way. And God said, all right. And it's not that he didn't care. It's just he, he needed me to learn. You know, I needed to learn the hard way. And so now I know I can't change someone. You know, that's that's all God. That's God's job. That's God's job is to change people. Not mine, not yours, not anyone else. That's God's. And leave, let him do that. He's, he's the pro at that. And let him do that. You know, so don't force anyone to change. Don't, cha don't change someone because, you know, you're, you're impatient or anything. No, let God do it in his timing. But again, though, if you are going into a relationship knowing that that person isn't right with the Lord, that he doesn't believe in God, or he, he or she, I'm sorry, but I would advise not to go into it. Because you're going to put more effort into trying to just keep the relationship stable than you would normally. So, when you find someone, make sure that they're in tune with the Lord. You know, and... For those of you who are in relationships and that, that are in tune with the Lord and, and you love God with all your hearts, you serve Him, God bless you. Like, I, I pray the best for your relationships. I, I hope that God will guide you both in the direction that He has for you. For those of you who are in a relationship, but, you know, or maybe are thinking about getting into a relationship, excuse me, um, pray about it. Ask God for guidance, you know. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't lead by your emotions. Lead by the Spirit. And because the Spirit helps 
you make the right decision. The spirit tells you, hey, you know, watch out for this, or hey, don't don't do this, or ooh, notice how he or she, you know, acts, you know, or it, it helps you discern who the right person is. And that applies to single people, you know, but even for single people, don't sweat it. If you're single, take the time to get to know Jesus. You know, take the time to get to know yourself. And, and that's what, for me, that's what I learned is that this the whole time that I was dating her, I never really got to learn anything about myself, about what I liked. I would only say things just to make her feel good, or just to make her feel better. But I never knew what kind of person I really was. So when we split, when the Lord split us and, you know, took us apart, it gave me the chance to look at myself and think, I really don't like that. Or I really do like that. Or it showed me that there's a lot of things I need to work on. Patience was one of them. Because when she wouldn't understand the word of God, it was, you know, I was just like, well, come on, you should get it. Everyone grows at their own pace. Not everyone grows at the same pace. So that's another tip for you guys. You know, if you have, if you're dating someone or if you're talking to someone and they maybe don't understand something or whatever, don't sweat it. Just just, just be patient and say, okay, you know, well, you know, that's, this is, again, this is what the Word of God says, you know, and so, I mean, I believe that way. It just be patient. Um, but again, if you're single, don't, don't sweat it. You know, it, it's not a bad thing. You know, it helps you figure out what do you want to do for your career. It figure, figures out or helps you figure out, you know, okay, this is what I want to do, God. Does any of these things I want to do align with your will? Because a lot of times God's will doesn't have everything that we want. But, you know, God will help us make the right decisions. And sometimes he'll give us what he wants. Sometimes he won't. But again, being single isn't bad. Take your time. Don't rush things. Ladies and gentlemen... I don't, my testimony, I don't want you all to go through what I went through. I tell you my testimony, not so that you can feel bad for me. Not so that you can say, oh my God, you know, so that's why he's such a helpless romantic. I don't want that. I want you all to take this and think, okay, he went through that. Now I know what not to do. Or I know what to do. You know, and I want you all to, to know that, that God, no matter what he does, that God always has a purpose for everything. And no matter how hard it, it must be or, or how much it kills you inside, never jeopardize your relationship with Jesus for the sake of someone else. Because I promise you, I mean, had I... Let's say I had given up my relationship with the Lord. I would not be here telling you this right now. I wouldn't have my own vlogs. I wouldn't have my Instagram. I wouldn't be in the church. I'd be out there. I'd be just like every other, excuse me, every other pig that you all hear about. I'd be just like them. But thanks be to God that I learned from this and I know what to do and what not to do. So again, Take this. I, I hope you all can take this as, as a good um, lesson, or or at least a good um, good advice, so that in the future that you will remember this and, and and know that you know if you're going through something like that I went through, you're not alone. And there are plenty of other people out there that are struggling, and for those of you who are struggling, pray about it. Rely on Jesus Christ. Don't rely on yourself. Don't rely on your parents, your your pastor. Rely fully and unconditionally on Jesus. When you do that, God will bless you and your relationship. But don't force anything. Don't do anything on your own because it will not work out. So again, thanks. Thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for the prayers. Uh, I was. Uh, I know this is earlier than why I normally post videos. I normally post them on Fridays, but um, I felt the need to, to actually post it right now. Um, so 
thank you all for watching. If you guys have any more questions or comments, you know, leave them all down there, or you can ask me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. Um, so again, thank you all for watching, and I hope that this video has helped you. God bless.